thoughts about the opener. You have a near sellout crowd, uh, but the, and everything that goes with with again in a situation like this. Yeah, very excited about it uh, to get started. It's been a long off season. Uh, you know, we've been I've been here since October. Um, the preseason obviously has gone on only for a month, but but I think we're ready to go and we're excited about this game. What are some things that you can point to that you found out about your team heading into the opener? I think what's been important for me is that I'm dealing with a group of player, uh, players that are good people, uh, willing to work hard, accept some changes that we've made, and uh, and yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great experience so far. You mentioned changes. What are some that the fans will notice that the lay person might be able to pick up on that you that you brought to this organization? Well, I mean, one of the things I, I've always done is uh, try to play sort of a hard pr high press game. Uh, and so we will certainly pick our moments um, in all our games, but whenever we can, we will we will try to high press. Ted, being here since October, does it feel like you've had enough time to implement your style and your system and whatnot? Um, I mean, we haven't played games, you know, so I've been here in October, but I've been basically in the office all the time. Uh, so I think, you know, uh, the preseason's been quite short, you know, with the, you know, with the four... Uh, uh, four weeks and you know about four or five games. I, I I'm comfortable with with the team going into tomorrow, knowing that that we we know what we're doing, we know what we're about, we're about, and how to do things. Uh, but I think you know it, it'll probably likely take a little bit more time. The MLS season is a very long season, but the importance for you guys to start off the right way tomorrow. Yeah, of course. I mean, tomorrow is a home game. You know, you want to win all your home games, and and obviously LA Galaxy is a big team. You know, it's the most successful team in the league, and. And it would be great to start the season with a win. What are some of the challenges with Chicharito? Yeah, I mean, I think the challenges with uh, with him are not just what he can do in the box, but the fact that they have players around him who can uh, who can supply him with good service. You know, I think Pavon is one of the best players in the league. I think Katai is capable of being one of the best players in the league. And so, and so the front three that LA Galaxy has, um, I think, are as good as any team in the league. What are your emotions right now? Just it's going to be your first one here with the Dynamo. You started, you were what, the first pick ever in the MLS. Just now that it's coming full circle, your first game doing as a head coach here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, like I said, I, I'm excited about it, that it's my first game. I'm also very happy to see the development of the game in this country. You know, when I look back in the 90s and I see sort of my generation of players, Marcelo Balboa and Eric Winalda and all those guys, and what we dream one day the league may be like, the fact that tomorrow we're going to be in Houston and I'm the head coach of the Houston Dynamo in front of a sold-out stadium. Um, I think it's really nice to see, and, and it's nice to see how far along our game has come. You uh, mentioned when you first got here that one thing that attracted you to Houston was the Hispanic community, the Latinos here. How have you assimilated, and what have you thought about the the, the, the community here in, within Houston? I, I really feel like this has been a perfect city for me. I, I fit in here. I fit, I fit in with, with our fans and what they're about and what they want. Um, you know, I had been very familiar with Houston from when my time at Tigres because it's not so far away. Mm -hmm. And I know what people on the other side of the border think of Houston as a big city. And, and so I've been really excited about it from the moment I had the opportunity. Any injury update? Have you got full squad for tomorrow or, or any, any injuries? Uh, yeah, I, at the moment we don't. We have a couple guys that we have to wait on over the next, uh, you know, over the next hour to see if they're available. Um, obviously, you know, Albert Thelis has been has been out and he has he's already been ruled out. So we won't have him uh, and we'll decide over the, you know, over the next hour or so if if Quintero is available at all or not. That's also a, a big doubt for us right now. And then there's a couple other injuries that we're dealing with. But uh, I think at this point in the season it's very important for us to be safe and not to take a chance on players that you know, by losing this game, maybe we have them back the rest of the season, and it's important for us to think uh, long term rather than just tomorrow. And um, you know, you mentioned you played in Mexico. Obviously, a big result last night for, for MLS for MLS clubs. There seems to be a lot of debate in the media about you know, are, is MLS catching M um, MLS? Sorry, it's Liga MX. What's, what do you think? Do you think MLS is getting closer to to that level uh, of play? I, I think there's no question it's getting closer. Um, I, I do believe that overall, Liga MX, you know, has the tradition. has been a uh, has been around for longer. Uh, it has attracted bigger players for longer uh, on their prime of their career. Uh, but I do think that the gap is getting closer and closer. And and I think the fact that Javier Hernandez and you know and and Vela and 
and uh, and Polito and all the you know Pizarro now all big Mexican players are starting to select MLS as a place to play. I think it's a big indication of that the league is trending high, um, and yeah, I'm I'm very happy with that. You have an extensive resume playing and coaching. How much has that prepared you for what you're doing now with these guys? Well, I think a lot. You know, there's nothing like experience, um, and I and I do I feel prepared. Of course, you learn every day. So you know that's one thing you learn as you get older is that you never stop learning. So tomorrow will be another learning experience for me. Um, but I do feel prepared, and, and I think all my experience has put me in a good place to, to head this group. What are you telling the guys tomorrow to get them ready? Uh, well, I mean, you know, obviously we've, we've prepared for, for, you know, LA Galaxy's front three, which is difficult um, for us. Um, the important part is that we have to play our game and that we, we are the ones that propose, you know, what happens on the field tomorrow. I know that it'll be hard at times and it'll be, it, there'll be times when we don't have the ball, uh, but I think we prepare ourselves to come out on the field and play our game and win the game.